And at the time of creation, on your scale, 6,000 years ago, the stars were lit up and begun. Presumably, if that light was on its way from the stars to us, we should be seeing new stars appearing all the time since the galaxy is 250,000 light years across. Now, there are only two or three explanations of this. One is that the light was created on its, on its way to us as an appearance of age, as Henry Morris said. Or that the stars exist in real time and the light is coming to us from enormous distances and enormous times. Now, which, do you, which version do you have? Is it a, an appearance of deceit by a creator who's created light on its way to us? Or do the stars actually exist? Do the stars exist? Is it deceit or observable fact? Well, I'd, I'd like to clarify the question. I, I think I got most of your question. First of all, it would not be deceitful on the part of the Creator if he told us what he did, which he did. But I would not be deceived. Because the Bible says God created stars to be for signs and seasons on the earth. If that's the case, we had to see them immediately. That's the only solution I, I could give, which you suggested. Now, as far as the supernova is concerned, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I have not, I'm not, uh, I don't know enough about the physics of that to understand it. I would have to say this, that what seems to indicate, if that supernova really did take place 100,000 years ago, and we're only seeing it today, then truly it happened 100,000 years ago, and the universe is not. 10,000 years old or 6,000 or 8,000 years old. Let me point out that many creation scientists believe that things are old. And that the age of this universe, the age Earth, is not an issue in creation science versus evolution science. Now I do believe that, that is because not only, not only creation science, but conservative Christian theologians take the view that things could be quite old. So it's not an issue here. Now, there, there are many creation scientists and theologians who do believe that things are young. And there are and many, may I just point out, and I, I think this should be the end of the question, I would let Dr. Plymer uh, to comment, but there are many physical processes. I said I did not have an answer for that. Yeah, yeah come on, five minutes. Well, I only had 10 minutes. Did I hear something from a gentleman over here? From a gentleman? Well, just, just very briefly, we've got a lot of other questions. Uh, let, let Dr. Blamer comment. I said this. If that supernova really did take place 100,000 years ago, then the universe must be at least that old. But... Okay. That'll do. Sorry, I have most of your books. And in your books, you clearly, repeatedly state that the world is very young, 6,000 years. You may stretch it to 8 or 10, but that's the furthest that the creationists will go. Now, I only talked about the near, the backyard of our universe, our galaxy. If we go further to galaxies, 10,000 million light years away, yes. it does the same answer. There are many evidences on both sides of that question. Our creation scientists and Christian theologians who believe that the weight of the evidence indicates that things are very old. There are other creation scientists who believe the weight of evidence indicates that things are probably quite young. There are many similar questions. Let me let me give you one let me give you one example. A comet can only exist for a few thousand years. Uh. Just, just, I'll, I'll ask you a question in a minute, uh, Dr. Avalanas. I've got it all written down here. Can we have a comment on that, please? Hey, did you want to comment on that answer? No, I'll have a question coming from you. Right, okay. Question. <laughs>